Today I'm gonna to talk about Singer Industrial Sewing Machine Lights. Six volt bulb, it's a 120 volt bulb. You'll see these on old Singer industrial sewing machines. They're still very usable appliances. You can see I've got two here. This one got a model number of SLF2, and this one has a model number of SLF3. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about using these. If you're gonna do any sort of wiring, you're gonna to have to accept the responsibility and the risk associated with electricity. Now, this is all just based on what I've seen. I haven't done any sort of research or anything, but mostly what I've seen is these lights were originally wired at six volts. So when you look on your old transmitters, which is the motor, there's usually a six volt set of wires that come out the back of the transmitter. So when you have a, this lamp, six volt bulb, and then you wire it up to a six volt source, then you've got a six volt light. And here's a newer clutch motor. Right here is a plug-in for a light. You can see it's marked there. And under there, maybe you can see it says six volts. So on this motor, that has a, a six volt source for a light. So in that case, you would use a six volt bulb. But now what you can do is you can buy a bulb that is for a, a 120 volt circuit. I suppose Europe does the same thing with different voltages. Here in the US, we use 120 volt, then wire this up to a 120 volt source and use a 120 volt bulb. So that's typically what I do. So I'm commonly using uh, servo motors and servo motors uh, just have a, a 110 source on them. We'll come over here to a servo motor and uh, I'll unplug the light that I currently have in it and you can see there that it says 110 volt. So if you have a 110 volt source you'll want to put a 110 bulb in your light. So that's what I'm talking about with your source. And most of your magnetic LED lights that you buy, the new ones, they're going to be a 110 volt. If you're using new motors and you have 110 volt, you don't have a 6 volt, you can wire these up to use a 110 volt bulb. So if you're going to use one of these old lights, I'll bring you in close here and let you take a look at this wire here so you can see what I'm talking about. So this wire is typical of what you're going to see on lights this old. The uh, insulation is getting all cracked. And so whenever you see something like this, you're going to just need to put new wiring into this light. So here we are with the SLF3 and the SLF2. This has a switch, like a flip switch. The 3 has a turn switch. The venting on these lights is different. So the 3 has this style of vent and the two has a more of a radial pattern that goes all the way around. The three just has two sides of venting. The clamp is different on these two. Both of these lights use a similar lens and reflector assembly. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll break these apart and we'll look at that. The, the bodies on these are a bake light and it's kind of, I've heard it called like original plastic. I, I don't know if that's true or not. It's a good product, but it can crack. And so whenever you're dealing with these, you want to be careful. And so you see I have a screwdriver here and there's a metal ring. And what you don't want to do is get that screwdriver between the ring and, and this housing and, and use the housing to pry that ring out. I don't think that would be well advised. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, you know, you kind of cradle the, uh, the body of the lamp. And then uh, I'll get this 
screwdriver in here and then you just use your human strength and just pull away from the housing and up and out okay see I've got this has come out of that groove I've got two more grooves on each of the three protrusions so once I'm out I can just uh, I can just go by, go by hand and just kind of pull it against there it's it's not hard now this lens should come out okay it's kind of a domed lens and it has three protrusions and then this is uh, the reflector and you can see it also has three points these are the points that it rests against the the housing you can see that this and these go together and when you put the lens in the reflector uh, there's a place in the reflector that, that holds this lens and so these two together will set securely inside this housing. So inside the housing there is a ledge here right where my fingernails at there's there's three of those one two three and that's kind of where everything is keyed in. While I'm in here I'll talk about changing the bulb. Maybe you can see in there there are two two points of contact in the bottom those are the electrical contacts. So if we look at a bulb, we can see on the base of it there are two places for those contacts to, to, to rest against. And it has two prongs. The prongs are what you focus on during the installation. There is an L-shaped groove. Actually, it's kind of J-shaped. You might be able to see that those prongs go right into those two slots. You're going to just go all the way to the bottom and then you're going to feel at the bottom there's spring there's a spring resistance and so you want to push down through that resistance and then you're going to turn it clockwise and now it's locked into place to take one out you push it down against that spring and turn it just a little bit counterclockwise and then it comes out so to install it push against the spring clockwise now it's locked in to remove it down against the spring counterclockwise. Whenever you're dealing with this stuff, you know, you don't want to force anything. So if you know what to do, it makes it a lot easier. So once you get your bulb in, now you can put uh, everything back together. So put this reflector in with the three points down on these three I'll call them shelves, then the, the lens, and then this spring has a groove, and so you'll just start it in there in the groove. Let me start it right here, and then we'll just work it in place so it's in one two, three grooves. It's all the way around. And that's got that lens secure in there. So now I've got a 110 volt bulb in this old SLF2. Alright, let's see if it works. Connecting electricity. Voila! So this is a nice old SLF2. It's got a certain amount of articulation with it, but that's a nice light. These LED bulbs are nice and bright. They're a lot brighter than the 6 volt stuff. And they burn really cool, so this won't get real hot. And that's nice. 